Hello? <laughs> is Mr. Squash there? This is Mr. Squash. <laughs> <laughs> the table is ready. What's up guys? It's Cat and Dev. Welcome to Whatever Wednesday. Today we are trying something very far out of our comfort zone. Oh yeah. <laughs> we are doing a DIY. Ish. Are yeah. we doing this? Yeah, I don't know. For Thanksgiving. Yes. And just fall in general, because I feel like you could set this up oh, and just sure. leave it until November. Yeah, you don't want to set this up more than once. <laughs> it's a lot of work. We're doing a fall table setting. Yeah, a rustic fall table setting. Uh -huh. And we're very, very proud of it because we did a lot better than we thought we would. <laughs> yes. So we hope you agree. We hope that translates to camera. So the main thing about our table is that we tried to keep it as cheap as possible. Yeah. So anytime we could use something from around the house, upcycle, DIY it ourselves, we did that. The dollar store. Yes. Oh, those were our main stores were essentially the dollar store and our home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we did end up going to Michael's once. Uh, Michael's, for any of you who don't know, is like the craft store in Canada. Um, and it is fairly expensive, but we did only buy one thing from there. Yes. So. So as we're decorating our table, we're also going to give you guys some tips on why we chose these things and maybe you want to try different ways. Yeah. We're trying to sound like we know what we're doing. Is this how DIYers sound? Are we doing it right? Are we... Um, is there anything else we should warn them about? If we seem confused, it's because we are. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. So in our opinion, you need a tablecloth. We tried it without a tablecloth and the table just looked too bare. Unless you have like a really nice table. I mean, my table's nice. What the hell? A nicer table. If you have something where it's just a basic kitchen table, stick a tablecloth on there. Now we didn't have a tablecloth, so we used a blanket, which it works. It was a flannel blanket, so it had that, that like rustic cozy vibe we were going for. Yeah. And we didn't put it across the entire table. We did it like on an angle. Next we had a layer of burlap and it's totally rustic and the thing about building a table well is you want to go for layers. And then we had a big tree chunk. And we also put twinkle lights on our table so that should be one of the first things you put down because it doesn't look good if you just throw the lights on top of things. It should kind of be coming up from underneath of everything. Yeah. So once we put the wood board down we wrapped it with the twinkle lights and added some twinkle lights around too mm -hmm. and left that there. And then the next biggest thing on the table is gonna be the plates. Yeah. So we set the table. And in our opinion, it's really important to put the plates early because then when you're setting a table with everything, if you didn't put the plates down, you could have stuff like in the plate area. You need to make sure each person has enough room to eat. So we wanted to make sure of that first. So we put the plates down as one of the first things. So once your plates are down, you wanna stick down any glasses you're using. For our glasses, we didn't want to just use anything. We wanted to use mason jars. We added a little piece of twine around each of our glasses with a little bow. Super cute. So cute. So once your table is pretty much set, it's time to bring in your bigger pieces of decor. So for us, we started in the middle on the piece of wood mm -hmm. and we had vases and candles and then we had some gourds that we spread out throughout the table to help start filling in gaps. Yeah. We also had some large and small pine cones that we added around the table. We also had these two cute little turkey figurines that we decided to add. Those are our own thing. I'm sure like anyone would have some Thanksgiving decor that you can add to it. So we added those two little turkey guys. They went with the colors. They were super cute. Super cute. Yeah. We added just small things to fill in any gaps that you had. So we had some fake leaves already or you can just buy them from the dollar store. Or pick them up off the ground. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, and then, you know, obviously food. So we added a wine, space for the wine bottle because that's always got to be there. Mm -hmm. Some bread, 
we thought it'd be really cute to have like a little kind of appetizer vibe on our table instead of the whole meal. So we made some popcorn and sprinkled some fresh thyme and rosemary on it. And then we put that on a few bowls throughout the table. We also put some little hors d'oeuvre things. So we added some cheese, some olives, some pickled things, pickles. We're using cloth napkins and to make them look really good, we obviously went to Pinterest and looked up a folding technique. Of course. No, they don't look like turkeys. I wish they did. Okay, so to fold your napkin, you're gonna start with the bad side facing down. So if this, there's a seam, that goes facing down. And you're gonna fold up from the bottom in half. And then you're gonna take the top and only the front half, fold it in half. And then you're gonna flip the whole thing over, fold it in half and then fold it in half one more time. It's a really simple technique, but it adds a really nice touch to your table. To finish it off, we are tying the bottom half with twine and sticking a name card underneath that. You can either make your own name cards or just buy them from the dollar store, from a craft store, pretty simple. And then the final step of the napkin setting is some fresh herbs in the top. This was a huge addition to our entire table. Oh, yeah. We have fresh herbs throughout. We have thyme, basil, and rosemary. Mm -hmm. The best part about this is that it makes your table smell so good. And that's it. Look at this awesome table we made. We actually did it. We surprised ourselves so much. Like it's, I don't know if the video is doing it justice. I really hope, I hope it, it is. is. Cause it's a gorgeous table. Yes. Like. I can't emphasize this enough. It smells amazing oh, on this table. It absolutely does. I really wish it was Thanksgiving today. Cause then I would just leave this out. <laughs> and by the way, the popcorn with the rosemary and the thyme. Uh, I mean, coconut oil. What? It's so good. It's amazing. It's like, honestly, it's the perfect appetizer for Thanksgiving. It really is. It's super light, and because we added the seasonings, it just goes perfectly. Yeah. And then we got and our- wine. Our wine. Oh, oh Catherine's wine. almost out of wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I really do want to make another one, but I'm so nervous it won't be as good. Yeah. Do you guys think we should do this again? Let us know. I mean, the holiday season is coming up. Christmas, uh, other holidays that are in December. Christmas is coming up. We both celebrate Christmas. Yeah. Christmas is coming up. Should we do one of these for Christmas? But let us know, because it would be super fun to try a Christmas one. Yeah, This w it was really interesting to challenge ourselves and try something different. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if most of you know, we started out trying to do cooking and DIYs, and the DIYs went <laughs> So this was definitely out of our comfort zone and I'm very, very confident that we could do it again based on our result now. Yeah. Cause I'm like, if, if we can do this, you guys can do this. Oh yeah, trust yeah. me. <laughs> Absolutely. If you guys make any pretty tables, send us your photos, like tag us. Cause mm -hmm. I want to see more inspiration. Like I'm, I'm, you probably won't do exactly this, but if you get inspired by this in any way, tag us, let us mm -hmm. know. I want to see what you come up with because yeah. it's super exciting. Okay, well, that's all for this video. We hope you guys, if you're from Canada, we hope you have a great Thanksgiving. If you're from the States, we hope you have a great Thanksgiving in a few weeks. Yes. <laughs> that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because <laughs> we post new vegan recipes every Sunday and we do whatever Wednesdays every other Wednesday. Yeah. And that's all. We're just gonna sit here and enjoy our table. Maybe try to find some friends to join us. We've been doing this for over five hours. So. Still no friends. <laughs> um, I forgot to make this out. That's not right. <laughs> we're not doing it right. <laughs> you were like letting me down, so we. I'm gonna ask you <laughs> to stay that way because you always held my hands. There must be something to the lines. Yes. All right.